In this Rotax Tech Tips video, I'll explain the advantages of new sodium-filled exhaust valves, one of the many enhanced features of the Rotax 915i series. These exhaust valves have also been introduced for Rotax 914 series. Externally, the standard and the sodium-filled valves appear identical. All external dimensions and measurement protocols are the same. This means that a worn or damaged standard exhaust valve within a 914 series engine can be replaced individually with a new style sodium filled valve. The mixing of standard and sodium filled exhaust valves within a single 914 engine is allowed. See service instruction SI 914030 for more details. For easy identification, new sodium-filled exhaust valves are marked with an indent on the face of the valve flute. So what is the difference between a standard valve and a sodium-filled valve? Standard Rotex exhaust valves are made with solid stainless steel, with hardened material at the flute and in the area of the valve cotters or keepers. In a running engine, a valve is required to perform under extreme conditions as the air-fuel mixture is compressed and combusted. Unlike the intake valve, which is partially cooled by the incoming fuel and air mixture, the exhaust valve is subject to more extreme temperatures as the hot exhaust gases flow by on the exhaust stroke. Cooling of the exhaust valve is accomplished through heat transfer within the contact area of the valve stem and the valve guide in the liquid-cooled cylinder head, and within the contact and sealing area of the valve flute and the valve seat. A sodium-filled Rotax exhaust valve is of similar stainless steel construction, but the valve stem has a hollow center. This hollow area is partially filled with sodium. Sodium is a metal that has a melting point of approximately 98 degrees Celsius, or 208 degrees Fahrenheit, and a boiling point of around 883 degrees Celsius, or 1620 degrees Fahrenheit. When the engine is running and the exhaust valve heats up, the sodium sealed within will melt, and as the temperatures increase, will boil and turn into a vapor. The vapor within the hollow valve stem rises up and transfers heat away from the valve flute and up the valve stem into the large contact area of the valve guide. The heat is then dissipated into the liquid-cooled cylinder head, cooling down the entire exhaust valve. The vaporized sodium at the top of the hollow valve stem is now cooled to the point of condensing back into a liquid state and falls to the bottom of the hollow. This process of vaporization and condensation of the sodium transfers significant heat away through the valve guide, reducing the amount of heat that's transferred through the contact and sealing face of the valve seat. The cooler temperatures of the valve flute and seat area reduces the thermal stresses and contributes to less wear and pitting. Cleaner contact surfaces promote a better seal and therefore more consistent cylinder compressions over time. This all contributes to a smoother running engine and can reduce long-term maintenance costs, especially in high thermal stress operating conditions such as motorized gliders and glider tugs. Sodium-filled exhaust valves are now standard components on currently manufactured Rotax 915 IS and now 914 series aircraft engines. Service instruction SI914030 allows for new style sodium exhaust valves to be installed during the maintenance or overhaul of any 914 series engine. You can find more tech tip videos like this on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube page, Fly Rotax.